How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 15 in my introduction to Python series. I do apologize to everyone. I know in the last video I said I was going to be doing dictionaries in this tutorial, but I realized after I finished wrapping that last video that there was a lot more I could talk about regarding sets. Specifically, some of these methods that I mentioned in the last video but didn't talk about. Um, adding and removing, very straightforward. I'm sure you can figure it out. This one here, you're just adding a new element to the set. This one removes it if the element is present. But these four here, they are really important to talk about because they are related to set theory. What is set theory? It is a branch of computer science and it's logic based. Um, not all computer science is programming. One of my first courses first year was a logic based course called discrete structures. One of the units was set theory. Uh, I'm not really sure how to give you a, a really concise definition on set theory, so if you're interested, go to Wikipedia and look it up. But if you want to look here are four of the basic concepts of set theory that we're going to talk about today, which are the equivalents of these methods. And the only other thing I have here is uh, Venn diagrams because they do help you visualize set theory. So let's get started. First one is the update method which is equivalent to the union concept in set theory which is where you take two sets and you add their elements together and one thing I'd like to mention too all these concepts still follow the uh, rules of a set um, so still unordered and still unique items so if you look here you have these two sets first one has the numbers one two three in it and the second one has the numbers two three four when you take the union it takes all the elements and adds them together but it's still a set because it's unique numbers even though there's a two in both of them sets only one of the twos is added and the same thing with the three so that is your union and it is the update method in Python so let's launch Python in PowerShell and let's create two sets so set one I'm just gonna set it equal to one comma two comma three and then set two, I'm going to put a lot more in. And we'll set that equal to uh, a bunch of random numbers. So let's put a couple eights in here. How about a nine, a seven, a oh, two, a four, a five. All right. So that is our set. We're going to do the update method now. So we're going to take set dot update update and then you pass in set two and it's going to apply the union to set so now if we call set you'll see all the unique elements in this set have been added to this one and it still follows the rules of a set because it didn't add an extra two didn't add an extra uh, you know, I guess two is the only one that's in both of them so didn't add an extra two uh, let's redefine set and we'll set it equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 alright and now to the next one we're gonna do intersection intersection if we look at the Venn diagram is best described using this Venn diagram so think about it. you have these two sets this is set this is set 2 the intersection of the two is whatever is in both sets so the intersection this black area and that's the same definition they'll give you on Wikipedia. And for Python, it is the intersection underscore update method. So we got set. We're going to do set dot update. Or sorry, intersection update. My bad. Intersection underscore update. And we're going to pass in set two. And now when we call set it's only going to have in it the numbers 2 and the number 4 so let's call set there you go 2 and a 4 like we wanted alright rolling along here we're next going into difference um, difference is if we look at our Venn diagrams again it's kind of like this one so we have this set and difference is basically all the uh, 
all the elements that are in set, but you take away any of the ones that are in set too. And that's the same definition for the set difference on Wikipedia, this one right here. And let's do that in Python now. So set uh, is going to be equal to, and we'll set it to 1, 2, 3, 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you're going to notice when we do the set dot difference underscore up date um, we are gonna pass in set 2 again and you'll notice because both of the numbers in uh, set that are in set 2 are the 2 and the 4 so they're gonna be removed so set only has a 1 and the 3 now the 2 and the 4 were removed so you can almost think of um, intersection and difference is opposites of each other in a sense. Next is the symmetric difference update which um, returns a single set containing all the elements in the sets like the two different sets but it doesn't include the ones that are in both sets. So let's look here it would be like this one here. So it returns the elements in set and set two, but not the ones that are in both of them. So it removes any ones that are in both. So you have set. We'll set that equal to one, two, three, four again. All right, and now set uh, dot symmetric underscore symmetric underscore difference underscore update and then we're gonna pass in set two and now if we call set you see here all the numbers that are between set and set two but none of the ones that are in both so they both contain a two and they both contain a four you don't see a two and a four there so that is difference uh, last thing I want to talk about is pop pops another thing that's common in a lot of programming languages so if we take set set dot pop it's gonna choose let's bring it up here so it just returns a random number and returns it but it also gets removed from the set so let's go back to PowerShell now when we um, reference set there's no one in there so that's popping if you just want a random like you know maybe you're making a program where you're picking teams or something for a soccer game it just picks a random element from your set pulls it out of the set completely removing it but then you also get that back so if we wanted uh we got let's create a new variable called random so a random number and we can set that equal to set dot pop and you got a random number there now to work with so how about random it took the three out and now if you look at set sure enough the three is missing again uh, let's look here. Like I said, add and remove are pretty straightforward. Um, discard's the same thing. It'll remove it if present. One thing I'll say is if you use the remove method and the object's not there, you get a key error, so an error message. Whereas if you use discard, you're not going to get an error message if it's not there. It just won't do anything. And then finally, last thing here is set.clear. And when we run set, there's nothing in it now. So that's all I want to talk about in this video. That's a little bit more about sets. Read up on set theory. Hopefully you understand the Venn diagram analogies. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Remember, guys, to comment on this video, like the video, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next tutorial where we will actually be talking about dictionaries this time. Thanks. Bye.